When I say I was sewn together, when I say I was cut, and you want to see what it actually looks like, the clitoris hood is supposed to be here. The clitoris is supposed to be here. Yeah. This is the hole that they made for you urination. Okay, so you tight all the way down oh. the for period flow and penetration. They remove the Libya Monora and they remove majority, if not all Jesus. Majora. So for twenty six years. 25, 26 years. Mm, this is what my mm, vagina mm, looked like. This is the life of over 200 million women. Jesus. They don't, they don't all have this. Some are sewn halfway. Some only have the clitoris removed. Some only have the Libya Menorah removed. Some only have the Libya Majora removed. Some have it all removed. Some have only two or three things removed or two things or just one thing. You shouldn't be removing. You shouldn't be sewing no human being together. You shouldn't be cutting human beings. Oof. And then physically sewing them shut. Because you're afraid that they're going to have sex outside marriage. Because you're afraid they're going to get assaulted or because you're afraid they're not going to marry a respectable man because you're you, you you've heard that men only marry women who are not cut that sounds like a you problem honestly first of all i think it's very brave that she even made a video like that where she admits what happened to her um i think it's it's just it's, it's a horrible thing it's a horrible to think to even think that they're still practicing things like this. Uh, I know I've heard of this, like certain tribes in Africa still does like female mutilation. It's just one of those things where, you know, you like as a man, I don't understand why you are even touching a kid's private part. I, I, I don't get that. It's whoa. I don't know. I don't have any words. It's, it's the first time that I've seen a video which has just like totally shocked me and I I've, I've, I have nothing to say. I just, I don't think like, I know we talk about a lot about toxic femininity and toxic masculinity, but we also have to see like, like we have it good here. If you really think of it, we really, really have it good. And I mean, all these people that are complaining about certain things like, yeah, I get it. Like we, Sometimes it's good to complain and sometimes you want things to be better but if you just look at how it was before to how it is right now sometimes it feels like we are really not focused on the things which really matter it, it feels like we we're just doing extra just because we're society has evolved in such a way that we have come to a point in society where we don't we can start complaining about stupid things you know I think I think a parent's duty is to protect your children from predators and I can't say anything about what has happened before but I can say like I would, I would never allow anybody to do that to my children Jesus it's just the world is a horrible place to be honest